Okay, I found this. I've had this for a long time. It's like called New Face. It's supposed to help with wrinkles and you charge it for 24 hours. Uh, but I don't think it's working anymore. I googled it and it says that sometimes it loses its charge, like the battery. So it's not working. It's not doing its normal beeping, but I haven't used it in years. I'm talking years, like years, years. But I don't know if this thing really works. Let me know. Like some reviews says it does. I thought it did, but I stopped using it because like, I don't know. I think it was like, I'm not even kidding. Probably like, God, probably six, seven years ago I stopped using it because I got Botox and I thought it would ruin the Botox. But now I kind of want to use it because you can't see it. I'm going to have to change the, the thing, but I the, my camera. But I kind of want to try it on my turkey neck. But now it's it's not working. And so I keep it plugged in, but it's not beeping. It's supposed to beep. Like, if you know how this thing works, it's supposed to beep. Like, let me, let me show you how it works. Okay, this is how it's supposed to work. Oh, I think I'm supposed to clean my lens. My lens looks very stiff. Anyway, you're supposed to go like this. Like, you're supposed to turn it on, but it's not turning on. I don't think it's going to work an allergy sorry my nose is like um but anyway darn it i'm gonna have to get another one it's on my wish list by the way for uh christmas and yes i i don't really have any makeup my makeup is probably left over from yesterday but i'm dealing with this turkey neck thing and i don't like it and so i wanted to try it and what you do is you go like this and it's supposed to beep and you hold it and i was gonna do this whole thing i was gonna try it out for you guys and do it before and after, but it's not working. And I looked on online and it said that it does that. Like, like um, it'll stop working, like um, the battery charging and stuff. So I'm kind of bummed because I was really gonna do a before and after and see if it really did work. Because I'm not gonna get Botox on my neck, right? And I haven't got Botox in like probably like, oh, five years, like I've been really, really bad. Uh, but I need to get it, I need to get it. But um. But the neck, you can't, I don't, I don't think you'd get Botox. I, I wouldn't do that. But, um, cause it just looks, I don't know. I just think it'd be weird. Uh, but, um, I wanted to try it, but it's not working. It's not working. So anyway, so I'm kind of bummed about that. So, oh, uh, well, maybe when I get one or if I get one, it's in my wish list. It's tinyurl.com backslash Stacy Burke wish list. Or just go to stacyburke.com and you'll see my wish list. So if you want to see me video, if you want to see a video of me doing it before and after, give me what it's called a new face. It's kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Microcurrent type of thing. And I think it did kind of work when I used to do it. This was back when I was married. That's why I'm thinking it was like maybe like 10 years ago I was using this. And I think it did kind of work. But then when I did Botox, I did, I thought maybe it was ruining the Botox because because uh, I used to do it on my face. So I don't think I'm going to try it on my face. I want to try it on the neck. Um, and if you tried this, let me know. Is it worth it? This was like, uh, this is the cheaper version. I know there's more expensive versions, but I can't afford that. So I don't know. Comment below. Let, does this thing work? <laughs> I mean, I wish I would try it out, but it's even when I keep it plugged in, it won't work. Like, I thought, oh, maybe I'll just keep it plugged in, but it doesn't beep, and I don't feel the micro abrasions. Oh, well, I think my lens is really dirty. It's foggy. It looks foggy. But, like, even when I plug it in, no, there's not. It's nothing. There's nothing. I'm bummed. Anyway, that's my video. <laughs> that's my video. I wanted to do that, and it's just not working out. All right. Peace out. <laughs> Thanksgiving leftovers, and it's Thanksgiving. I made vegan stuffing, <laughs> vegan um, green bean casserole, vegan uh, turkey roast with uh, mushroom stuffing and cranberry stuffing. Of course, I have the cranberries, and then ah, sweet potatoes that we kind of been digging into. So this is leftover Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving vegan with the Stimpsons. Oh, there's my vegan gravy. I know it doesn't look like much because it's leftovers. That's what I do. I cook 
and the day before Thanksgiving, and then that way I eat all this. Uh, yeah, I gotta do that. Um, yeah, and so Thanksgiving is leftover day. So yay! Hello, Superintendent. You got a hall living at four B. Janice Rossi, get your own man. Get your own man. There is, motherfucker. And then there's Dusty laying on top of the bird cage. I put a mat down for her so she's comfortable, and so the birds are blocked from her. It's just the way it is. That's her spot. She likes it. And yes, we have we have Christmas stockings for all our babies. Yep. I love my little family. Hey, Sunny and Cher. I know it might not look like much. It's what I'm making my boyfriend for dinner tonight. I made him vegetable lasagna. Yes, of course. Put it in the oven for an hour and a half. But hey, I, did, I read the instructions. I did it. And there's garlic bread. Of course, it's multi-grain garlic bread. But hey, it's really good garlic bread in there. And homemade uh, salad with a bunch, a bunch of different vegetables in there. And all you have to do is shake it. All the wet is on the bottom and then you just shake it so it's a good Italian salad I got in there so that is a dinner and if you want to see what the lasagna looks like oh there it is it's gonna be so yummy and my tummy okay day two with my boo this is the second dinner now right. and I'm he's he, and then I still have the garlic bread and he likes a salad the salad's in the refrigerator and there's eggplant parmesan for my pudding, dinner number two. My boyfriend is into barrio, what do you call it? Barrio sesamo, fool. Barrio sesamo. Don't laugh, man. <laughs> barrio sesamo. Hey, if you better be down. Are you hanging with the porquitas? He's the whitest guy I know. He's special really into this. Oh, toast he's a special K. Uh, oh, no. Goodness. Yeah. I'm, oh, my God. Oh, no. It's a porca. Porca. It's a por porquita. Porquita. <laughs> they killed Lana. Why? Por qué? Por qué? Was he a rato? Look, it's Ray Brown. He's got the t-shirt. You, you. you can buy yeah, them from India. We got your back, and uh, I know you're going through a very vulnerable time, so right now, don't make any decisions. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. We got your back. Made some biscuits and gravy for my boo when he wakes up. Last night was mac and cheese and broccoli. And today, it's uh, biscuits and gravy with chunks of vegan sausage in it. You can't see it, but there's chunks of sausage in there. Yum. I was hungry. I didn't know what to make, but I was scrolling through Instagram, and this guy was making um, Mexican corn dip, which is like uh, street corn dip, like iole. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, iole. And he made it non-vegan, of course, but I just kind of like, oh, that sounds good. So I just grabbed whatever I had in my house. This is um, a can of corn. Okay, a can of corn. Can, I mean, um, some vegan feta cheese. Vegan mozzarella. Vegan pepper jack. I'm trying to remember. Tahine. Green Tabasco. Red Tabasco. Uh, nutritional yeast. Pepper. Cilantro and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. I think that's it. Oh, and vegan mayo. And I put vegan mayo in there. Oh, and lime juice. And lime juice. I think that's it. And I zapped it in the microwave, and oh my God, it's so good. Like, you just embellish. Like, if you don't have exactly what's in the recipe, embellish, like, whatever you have in the house. And like, oh, and I think I put a little bit of onion uh, seasoning as well. But, oh my God. I am not even dipping it in anything. I'm just eating it like soup. It's so freaking good. So, there you go. Cheers. Experiment in the kitchen. So what? Just throw it away if it's not good. <laughs> or do like what I do. Eat it anyway. <laughs> Cockroach diet. Stacy Burke out. Look at my little Lion Kings. Nigel!
Nigel. Oh my god. This is my bird cage with Sunny and Cher. Yes, I gotta clean it soon. But if you zoom in on the other side of the cage, sleep on the windowsill is dusty. She likes to sleep with the birdies. She's passed out. I don't know if you can see it because the sun. <laughs> that big girl on the windowsill next to the birdcage. <sighs> Adorable. Okay, today this is what I'm doing. I need to clean the bird cage, which is a big deal. It's like I gotta take it away from the wall and clean all that and then feathers and seeds go everywhere. So the whole house is gonna be tarred and feathered and I gotta clean it. I'm taking down the Thanksgiving decorations, which I already did. And now I was putting up the Christmas decorations, but then I realized I can't do that until the bird cage is clean because I have Christmas stockings that hang out anyway. So this is going to be an all-day process. This is going to take a long time. Then once this bird cage is clean, I vacuum, and then I'm going to put up the Christmas decorations, put away the Thanksgiving decorations, and then I got to give the whole house a head-to-toe cleaning because a lot of the Christmas decorations has dust on it, and I dirty up the house when I'm going through all these bags of stuff. So. This is my full day on this beautiful Saturday. And the cats are just loving all this attention. I don't think the birds are exactly enjoying it. But this is my day. Hi, Sunny and Cher. Gotta clean your house. It's filthy. And I gotta clean my house. It's filthy. And put up the Christmas decorations. So, yep. Big day ahead of us, Felix. Okay, it probably doesn't look like much, but this is, I ground it, and this is the back end of my three-story Christmas tree, and I secured it. This is the base of it. That's all connected with one grounding wire, and then I secured it with so many zip ties to make it straight, and then, oh, there's the other grounding wire with them all connected. I think I have 26 strands of light so far. And sometimes that grows, but, and then there's the other grounding wire with all the lights. And you know the struggle, how they were short. So um, yeah, so there's bald areas, but I, I fixed it with lights on the other end. So I do have base to it. And then there, is my control box it goes from dusk to dawn and there's all the wires plus this the main connection and then the extra wires that i need and it goes from dusk to dawn and there is my three story christmas tree yay felix love you baby happy thanksgiving this is the morning ritual. Felix is the king, so he gets his wet food first. And then my other cats wait so patiently. There's Sir Nigel being so patient. He's such a good boy. And there's Katie waiting patiently. She's such a good girl. I give him a can of wet food. Felix gets first dibs because he's older and he needs it the most. He needs the moisture. So when he's done, he leaves leftovers. And this between Katie and Nigel, who gets it next. Usually it's Nigel. And then he always leaves food left over. And then Katie eats the rest. Or sometimes if Nigel's distracted because he's an emo, Katie will get it next. But she always leaves extra for Nigel. It works out perfectly. One can of wet food for all three. Dusty doesn't like wet food, so it works out perfectly. Huh, Nigel? You're so patient. I got a vacuum, huh? You're so patient. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. So is Katie waiting for the king. Okay, Felix is done. So now it's Katie's turn. So Katie was first up. Nigel decided to go third, maybe because he wasn't that hungry. But he's waiting patiently right here. And now Felix is done, and Katie will eat. And then she'll leave leftovers 
for the Nigel. And then there's the Nigel. He's eating the rest of the cat food. They all take turns patiently. It's so sweet. I love it. And they always leave enough for the next one. My babies. It's not dark yet. Oh, <gasps> there! 